Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is a privilege, it's an honor to come to us this morning to teach the body of Christ on the importance of going to church. We have been answering the question, why go to church? We have been answering the question, why go to church? And that is our series for the weekend. And we will keep doing that until the end of this month. By the end of this month, I believe we must have covered enough to um, start another series. But before then, I want you to understand that for this series to benefit you, for you to benefit from this series, you will need to go to the beginning. We have made it easy for you. The series has been organized on the a playlist on this channel. When you go on that playlist on this channel, you will see all the uh, um, the recordings, the, the teachings that we've done from the month of February. This morning, we, were, we are going to go deeper into what we started last week. We said fellowship is spiritual. Fellowshipping with people online, fellowshipping with people in a building is spiritual. Do you want to say that with me? Say fellowship is spiritual. When you gain this understanding, then you will not be moved so much by the activities of people that are not serious. Maybe in your physical location or in your online family. Amen. We also made mention of the fact that although you don't have the opportunity to hug people online, but don't be deceived that the spirit of the people you're connecting with online, you actually fellowship, you spend time with one another. We need to emphasize the fact that you are a spirit. So what actually is happening is that the real you is meeting the real um, everybody in that family. Make sense? Right. So when we get to a point where we have made up our mind and say, okay, this is my online family or this is the location where I go to, always go with the mindset of this is more spiritual than physical. One of the questions we hear nowadays is why are churches uh, streaming online? Why do some churches stream online? The reason is simple. Life is gradually becoming a global village. I remember when the Lord spoke to us about starting Bill for Global Impact. He said, I want you to have an online platform because life is gradually becoming a one village. It's becoming global. So what I want you to understand is that it is of the Lord for ministries to be online, for churches to be online. I also want you to know that it's not um, unscriptural. It's not, you can, because people will ask questions. Is it a biblical thing? Um, in I mean, you hear all of those questions. Some of them, I can't even say them here because they are all right. Almost permit my, my choice of words, stupid. Um, in the days of Jesus, oh, people had to travel long distances. Why is it that nowadays um, they are giving people the privilege to watch online when they only live 30 minutes away? You, you hear all of those questions. But the truth is, there is nothing that we will have that is worth any importance or that will change our lives or bless us without us investing your investment will determine what you get from anything what are we saying with this we're making you understand that if you're close to a physical location for example and you decide not to go to church not to go to that building because you have the advantage of online guess what you will fellowship but you will not benefit as if you were in the building now miss Emma, is it that the anointing that comes through my electronic is less no it's because one your your conscience is going to be in the way do you know your conscience has so much to do with your fellowship with the lord 
There are people that are not guilty of sin, but because they think that the Lord is not happy with them about one thing or the other, they get into depression and they get sad or they get angry or they get mad. And then at the end of the day, it affects their spirit or their connectivity with daddy and with other people. Consequently, somebody like that will go online, the anointing is right there, not that it's not there, but because in their mind, their conscience is like, you ought to be in the building, you ought to be in the building. Instead of them saying, Lord, I ought to be in the building, but this is the reason, because it is really between you and daddy. That's the truth. We are not endorsing you sitting home and, and, and watching your church service. A building you could drive to online no we're not endorsing that we are also not saying we are also saying that if you are not able to drive to that building and you know from your heart of heart for example you could be a student and um you usually leave your class maybe two three hours before your service but on this particular day something happened at school and you left 30 minutes before and your maybe your church is an hour away we're talking of conditions that you never scheduled for things you could not help i'm telling you watch that service online with a clear conscience don't even think otherwise and as you do remember we said last week we're reiterating that fellowship is more spiritual than physical so connect with your spirit enjoy the service the aspect of fellowshipping especially online and it being spiritual that we want to add today is when you go online communicate fellowship with the people that are online just like you were in a building that's what makes it a fellowship do not now i know there are limitations to this this is not a general rule there are people that go to a platform online and they don't feel like this is family that's not what we're talking about we're talking about you connecting to your online family this is your church this is your your, your christian gathering for example you go to um, a particular church called church a and then you could not go to that location and then you connected online it's okay to communicate you you have a youtube family that don't have a physical building for example, our ministry is a, it's a YouTube family. We don't have a physical building yet. When you connect with us and you feel that you belong to us, we expect you to do what? Communicate, comment when you come online. Why? Because that's what fellowship truly is. You're spending time with us and we are spending time with you. Quality relationship, fellowship, it's only possible when people spend time and talk without talking a fellowship is not as effective as when you communicate amen so our prayer for you is as you fellowship be it in the building be it online make sure you use words the words are important in fellowship remember when we saw our lord jesus christ we said he went to the synagogue as was his custom and in his custom he took the bible or the torah and read it so what was he doing he was fellowshipping with the people fellowship every time you gather with other christians be it in a building or online make it a duty to fellowship because i'm telling you i heard uh, a man of god preach this he said the easiest way the enemy can get you um, to doing the things you ought not to do with your life is to separate you from people when the enemy begin to tell you okay don't 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 talk with this person don't interact with these people you have to know that he is trying to do something evil with you because that's his strategy divide you from people separate you i'm not talking about you intentionally knowing or after a research you see that this relationship is not helping you uh, go the direction that he has for your life and then you separate from them that's not what we're talking about we're talking about you knowing for sure that hey this relationship is not godly it's not of god and then you make up your mind and say hey i'm going to leave for god when you make up your mind and say i'm going to leave for god and then these other relationships want to crop in you have the right to say no 
But then we're talking about situations where you come to an understanding that I cannot or people come into your life and you know that they shouldn't be there. Then you have to move on without feeling guilty. Amen. In that case, you know it's not the enemy trying to separate you. In the last days, the streaks are going to increase. But listen, you need to make up your mind to know what is godly and what is not godly. Amen. Stay focused. Understand that fellowship is important, especially with words. Amen. Fellowship with other Christians. Use your word. Don't go to church and be quiet. At least have somebody at church you can talk with and they can talk with you. On your, when you fellowship online with other believers, communicate with them. Amen. Do not stay by yourself because fellowship demands or requires communion, communication glory to god pray for tomorrow's service get yourself ready spiritually and get your things ready make sure you enjoy your weekend refuse the grumpy buck from biting in jesus name amen and amen amen